In this section, we'll go over the applied steps for the product sales query, show you how to walk through each query step, and make any adjustments needed before you finish. Since we finished the last step on the new query that merged the product and category tables, we'll need to expand the queries pane and select the product sales table. This will take us to where we left off with the product sales table when we added the bonus column. First, select the source step, and Power Query will immediately return the table data to its original state. If you recall from earlier, Power Query automatically adds the source and change type steps for you, so you don't need to do anything here. You could even delete the change type step if you wanted, since we adjust the date type later on anyway. Moving on, the renamed columns step is where we renamed columns from their original database names. Notice as I select each step, Power Query is automatically previewing it for me. This is a great tool because you don't have to guess if your step is doing what you want or not. The next step, Change Type 1, is where we change the date to not include hours or minutes. Unfortunately, Power Query's titles aren't all that descriptive, so I'll change it to Change Date Type. Similarly, you might want to change the Split Column by Delimiter step to Split Sales Rep Names. Next, I'll choose the Added Custom step which is the bonus calculation, so I should change that to bonus. You can also change a step's parameters by clicking on the gear icon if it has one. For instance, you might change the sales amount or commission percentage. In this case, I'm just going to press cancel. This is just a sample of what you can do, but it's always a good idea to go through your applied steps before you distribute your workbook, because you might find that certain steps can be managed better once you get the entire procedure set up. It's also better to catch an issue here than to have someone point out something to you later. When you're done, press close and load to see your changes update in Excel. In the next step, we'll show you how to add data to your source data then refresh it in Excel. When you do, Power Query will automatically apply each of your transformations behind the scenes.